The first hands felt by generations of Augustans belonged to a tall, courtly doctor who lived to be 102. That doctor, W.G. Curly Watson, delivered an estimated 50,000 babies over half a century. Curly Watson's story could have been normal, but it turned into unique. In high school, his Edgefield County agriculture teacher was Strom Thurmond, who had yet to enter a successful political career. And it is amazing to think how many babies Dr. Watson could have delivered if he had started his medical career on schedule, but he didn't. When he graduated from the Citadel in 1931, a promised job fell through. It was, after all, the Great Depression. So he went back to the family farm and plowed with mules, barefoot. Then the college graduate got a job as a school teacher and football coach. He was then accepted to MCG, which took the intervention of George's governor because there was a dispute over his residency. And then another delay, military service with World War II. Curly Watson didn't become a practicing doctor at University Hospital until 1947, two decades after graduating high school. Needless to say, he got busy and made up for lost time. Hundreds of Augusta families have tales of his dedication, showing up on a day off or in the middle of the night to deliver a child, their child. Even late in his career, when a younger colleague looked worn out, other doctors remembered he'd say, I'll take the call for you. He was glad to do it and he never complained. He would not only teach younger doctors, he would keep up with modern medicine. He'd do the studies and take the certification tests, even when he was grandfathered in. Despite all his accomplishments, Curly Watson didn't like attention. They say his wife had to trick him to get him to attend his own birthday parties. When University Hospital decided to name its Women's Center after him in 1998, he was appreciative, but didn't want a ceremony. I wish they had done it and that was it, he said. Dr. Watson not only brought thousands into this life, but he taught many how to live it, by example. He always would say that the most important thing in your life is God and your family and then your profession. He touched thousands of newborns and he taught the rest of us something too. And that lesson still endures.